There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. <laughs> if fool me, we can't get fooled again. Nuance. Noun. A subtle difference in or shade of meaning. Expression. Or sound. Nuance. Noun. A subtle difference Nuance. in or shade of meaning. Noun. Expression. A subtle. My name is Susan Ruth, and I'm the host of Hey Human podcast. I'm like, this isn't rocket yeah. science. <laughs> I'm not really sure why people get all fired up about that, to be honest. I tried to, I've reached out to the Flat Earth Society a few times now, and nobody will get back to me. And I would love to have somebody on there because I do want to know. I'm like, why do you think the way, why, are, why is this the hill you're dying on? You know? Kinds of bad the, the, the thing you know, one is, is an objective bad and one is a subjective bad like it, it, it all depends again on your paradigm right and what you consider bad versus right well bad. one has murdered people right. one well i don't know if trump has murdered people yet well I'm we sure got, we know, well we don't have any evidence of that so you know in <laughs> no. another thing in this me too generation is, is there's no evidence for these allegations are you talking about benghazi is that yeah, what you mean? no libya more than anything libya, um, yeah I mean, if you that I had not laid out a consistent and intertwined philosophy of what in the hell I was trying to say for the philosophical foundations of crime and punishment to be ushered into the 21st century, a reimagination of our institutions is necessary. Building off the famous works of Caesar Beccaria, I construct those pathways to the Enlightenment period of justice. Free will, sanctuary cities, gun control, eyewitness testimony, incarceration, and more must all work together for a prosperous society. Learning. Very little. I, I, I'm interested in everything. Don't don't confuse that with a, a lack of interest or curiosity. I am absolutely curious and interested in everything. But I am. It's a, I'm a slow burn on actually believing something. Well, that's the thing. True. You shouldn't really be believing anything to be true. That's my that's my main problem with Do all this. Is people are having this. I'm not gonna waste any time thinking. Good. I'm better. Right. And now there's other things that, I mean, who knows what gets people excited. I, if I post something on social media that I think is really important or interesting or fascinating, like, oh, I just read this really cool book or I saw this really great movie or I met this person and they were interesting because of blah. Not very many likes. But if I post a picture of me with like tits up and, you know, <laughs> ass out, people go fucking <laughs> nuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I understand that that's no wonder we're so skewed that our validation comes solely from the outside instead of the inside. Yeah, except the other. Yeah, totally. But they're going to keep doing that. That's the new thing is you have, you, you go back and do, uh, that's the other, like the, um, what was the and one, the song? You don't listen to his stand up now because of some of the things he says, you're like, oh, that's what that means. Just right, like sure. It's super creepy. Like, they had some oh. Cosby show clips where you're like, oh, that was like uh, creepy. What was that all about? But right. uh, that song, Baby It's Cold Outside, when everybody oh, yeah. was freaking out about that, I was like, very cool. Michael, thank you. Listening, you listening, you listening. 